Hello, brothers and sisters. I want to revisit my testimony on the first videos I made on my channel because a lot more people are coming to it, and I'd like to share my condensed version right now. So I was taken to the pit for my previous sins. A year ago, I was an atheist, even after experiencing demonic activity of something walking on the ceiling, but I wrote it off as an alien. I was making music with my friend in a garage. All of a sudden, the mu music became silent. The speaker cones were still moving, so a sound should have been being produced. We heard footsteps upside down on the ceiling. My friend looked up. I looked up. It walked around my head. The computer shut off. The lights flickered, and a broom flew off the wall. We heard a high-pitched screech. We booked it out of there, got flashlights, and we looked on the roof. There was no attic or ladder. I thought it was an alien. My childhood phobia because I felt like I'd been being watched my entire childhood from the windows. I asked my friend. He said it might be the animal spirits he was setting free from his Ouija board. I was like, what? Spirits and demons are real? He said the board spontaneously combusted on his bed one time. Later on, I became an atheist. After living in a lot of sin, being lied to, thinking morality was relative, I was committing adultery and had quite a few partners whom I had no re real close relationships with. I went to sleep and had a dream, it felt real, of walking in a city. The ground broke from beneath me, and I fell down as a tidal wave rushed over the top of me. I saw this glowing orange light that got larger and larger as I fell. I literally slammed into the bottom of the pit like a parachuter without a parachute. I saw 100 other people. I was told, pick up a weapon, fight to the death. There were weapons lined along the walls on tables with crimson tablecloths. I picked up a pair of claws which gouged themselves into my hands, and I wasn't able to take them off. I had to slice people's throats, debow them, etc. I felt every single slice of the blade. I was the last one left standing. I was told, you've won your right back to life. Everyone else is going to die in their sleep. I'd realized God was judging me and showing me what hell would be like, or even just a little taste, before it was too late. I was called up to a huge, bat, black, winged, winged creature with burning black miasma flames around him. He gave me a gold devil tarot card. Later, after coming to Christ, Jesus ripped it up for me. I then was slammed back into my body and I woke up screaming. I decided to read the Holy Bible to try and disprove it, because I still held on to atheism. It started with Jesus' story. That's what I saw on the first page. I read it, and that night got a dream of Jesus exercising me in my childhood. I went to read the Bible the next day. I could now see most of the words and creation, which I couldn't see before. The scales had been taken off my eyes. I read it in two weeks, including in audio form. You can get the Holy Bible on your phone in audiobook form as well. I literally listed down every single sin I've committed or even thought about and confessed them to Jesus. You don't have to confess your sins to anyone else if you don't want to, but you must confess them to Jesus. Right when I got done doing so, I heard a deep guttural growl outside my window, like, and the demons went away. The night after finishing the Bible, I got a dream of a girl in a hospital robe and shown a birthmark on her shoulder. I was told to tell her everything is going to be okay. That night, the first girl that got in my cab looked exactly like the girl in my dreams. I thought it was a coincidence, so I kept driving. Then she said out of nowhere, You know, I was life flighted to the hospital after gang members drove me off the road. This concurred with my girl in a hospital robe dream. So I told her, this might sound crazy, but I just finished the Bible, and I think I got a dream about you. Do you have a red mark on your shoulder? She said, yes, how did you know? So I actually caught this on dash cam, and I'll share it with you as I got permission. You know, this might sound strange, but I've been getting back into the Bible and stuff, and last night I had a dream that I, I met a girl in a, a medical robe, and I, like, talked to her, and, <laughs> I don't know, I've just been seeing these signs, and I, uh, I, I, it might have been a sign about you, I don't know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I was shown this, uh, birthmark on a shoulder, uh -huh. or something, and I, I don't know. <laughs> That's weird, because I, I, I have a, I have, like, a weird red birthmark on my on this shoulder, though, which it looks like I've gone burned or something, but... Yeah, burn? Uh, yeah. Is it, is it kind of long shape? Yeah, but it's, it's weird. I told her everything was going to be okay. I kept in contact, and eight days later, I go to tell my dad about it. He said it was funny because the movie The End of Days was playing with Arnold Schwarzenegger. The one with the girl with the Mark of the Beast tattoo? So, I thought, maybe that girl with the birthmark needs protection. 
I contacted her, and it turns out her best friend passed away, like God was having me console her before it happened by saying, everything is going to be okay. Then I asked, is there anything else? She said, yes, my mother played with Ouija when I was in the womb. I keep on hearing three knocks on a window or a door. Me and my husband open up, and there's no one there. Then they caught a black mist demon descending on her kid in his crib on nanny cam with no one else in the room. She showed me the video, and sure enough, demon. I'll show it right here for you. I prayed for her and went away. She had previously gotten a Catholic priest and it did nothing. I later found out that the popes are Luciferian masons. So later I get this lady in my cab and I drove her to a far off city to an airport. I talked about supernatural stories. She said, now get this, that humans made creation. They went back in time and seeded the world and the world's been seeded six times. She also said, that pale horse dream you saw meant death and destruction for many years to come. She was able to tell me about a dream I just had about riding on a pale spotted horse and I had not told anyone yet. I called Lucifer the Lord of Flies and she said in an almost male voice, No, he's not. When she got out, she sent me a text on my Facebook cab page saying that she was Lucifer. I think she was possessed by him and I rebuked her, him, in the name of Jesus. The devil literally got in my cab and lied to me. God showed me that if creation was never made in the first place, humans couldn't have gone back to make creation. The chicken and the egg paradox. Scientists found out that there's an enzyme in eggs that only chickens can produce. So the chicken, or God, must have come before the egg. The devil may be playing with the sands of time. That's why we ask God to number our steps. Do you understand? I've had many more supernatural cab stories. I found out most people who've had demonic attacks are being attacked by demons before they read the Bible and come to God. They're targeted because they will become strong in God, and the demons know it before they do. So they send people who are demonically possessed to do evil things to them. They steal, kill, destroy, perverse, and destroy, all before they are redeemed, trying to keep them from God in the first place. They target individuals who will do big things for God in the future. They definitely know the timeline. Later, I got a lady in my cab. She had gotten three parts of the mark. She was Christian. I told her the information I knew. She had been deceived. She was administering the skewers nationwide and said they all came from the same palate and were divided among the three companies. She had a friend who was half paralyzed from a brain aneurysm. He went into the Masons and came out a few days later healthy as an ox. No more paralysis and all the money in the world even though he had no job. He was told to keep an eye on her. I told her how evil the Masons were, and she let me lay hands on her, and I prayed. I told it to turn to water. She started crying. She said, water started coming out of her the whole day before. So, with this, I have faith that you can repent until the age of grace is over. There's also a difference between the mark and the seal. I believe there will be seven skewers, and then the implant or chip, which will be the seal. It may be less, though. They may pull the switch early, if you know what I mean. I have all this documented in moving picture in my neck of the woods. If you understand what I mean, go down the list and watch those videos. All right, all men, God bless and take care.